welcome to today's video. We got the doggies freaking out. They know it's time. We got the Gabby in the bathroom because she knows it's time. We got the Sophie over there ready to go. Are we ready to go? And my talk. Yeah. Blanket's all messed up on the couch because the dogs be laying there. All right, let's go, people. Let's go. It is gorgeous out here this morning. My garden is falling over. I need to get some tomato steaks or some, what's too late for cages. My melons are taking off. My watermelons are not taking off. Oh no, my battery's dying. I gotta go back to the house. It's, it's uh, no weeds though. You guys notice, no weeds. My melons are exploding. Look at this. Peppers, lots and lots and lots of peppers. So this is a lot of pumpkins. Everywhere there's a flower will be a pumpkin. And what normally I do is I bury all the extra ones so that all the nutrients go to just a couple of pumpkins and we have a few big ones. But I can't get in there. No melons. These are watermelons, so this is my plan. All right, so see all my melons there and then all this area. So my plan, as soon as tomato and pepper season is over, which will be soon, hopefully, then I'll take out, and all these, I'll take out all the dead plants, and then this can all be a pumpkin and watermelon plant patch. That's my plan. No weeds. You guys, deaf dogs, don't get them. <laughs> don't get a deaf dog. Sophie thinks, okay, so Daisy got scared last night. We don't know why. Oh, yeah. Sam changed the routine. He cut the grass down at the barn last night when she was out with him and it spooked her. Come on. Come on. So she now she... Right up against the house so <laughs> she can't see her. Our house is white. Sophie says that she purposely stands against the house so nobody can find her. Nobody can see her. <laughs> That's the first place I look. <laughs> Oh, she won't stay down at the barn now because she's scared. Yeah, you said you're a good girl. Yes, it's okay. The barn is okay. The scary lawnmower is gone. So now we have to t take her down, show her life is okay, show her the barn is okay. D dogs, you guys, be weird. Fun. Whole new situation. I believe God brings go every. Go, go down to the barn. <laughs> she's. <laughs> Oh. You can't see me. <laughs> she thinks you can't see her. I I know. I know, Daisy. Come on. She found a rock. Come on. To drag her down. We're almost there. We're almost there, Daisy. You can do it. You can do it. You can see there's no lawnmower. You can see it's safe. <laughs> Why is it so much harder to walk bent over? She says, "Ta da!" Oh man, I gotta cut the grass down here again. Oh, it's exhausting. Pets are exhausting, huh, Ben? You should try that. <laughs> I did do some of it. Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Monday, and Sophie and I have a special plan today. Do you remember what it is? Don't tell them. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna take you guys along with us. Even Where Sam doesn't going? know. Sam doesn't know? Because if I told Sam and these special plans, he could have said no. <laughs> so finally, after all these years together, I got smart. Are I'm you gonna... driving or? I'm you're... driving. Our horses have such good manners, our girls. Fly spray is involved. Like a spray bottle with willow. She will run you over, she will. Kill. Yeah, I just sprayed a penny down. She did great. When I show her the fly oh, mask, so she tips her head forward for me to put it on. Gabby's here. Dead uh, morning, Gabby. Not coffee, Gabby. Wait, wait for it. I'm getting her coffee. <laughs> Today we sprayed them with fly spray. Penny, don't make me look bad. <laughs> don't do it. Um, so today we sprayed them with fly spray and put their fly mask on so that they don't. Okay, she doesn't listen to me when you guys are here. Penny, I got no treats for you. I got nothing. Sorry. Sophie, can you check her fly mask? They never let me put it on, so I never got in the habit of knowing how to do it properly. We got two. Two in the bed, and the little one said, here comes the other one. And the Dalmatian is locked in the barn. Oh my goodness. Did you spray her down? Yeah. So you're riding today? Okay. Because I booked us. I booked us in the barn. It's a hot day. 
There we go, googly eyes. 70 degrees in the barn. But the humidity, whoo, it's hot. It's early in the morning, too. Good luck, the dog in the Ooh. arena now. I lost my phone. Does anybody know where my phone is? Uh, I think it's on the hay. On the hay. I have a sick friend. A beautiful, amazing friend who's sick and struggling, and I always feel bad to be too far away from my phone because I always want to check in on her. Oh, sorry, Gabby. It's rest time, morning rest time. We have to make sure Daisy associates the barn with good things whenever she gets scared. And playing is a good thing. It's always a good thing. Wait a minute. Is that my rope? That's my lunge rope. Oh, that's your lunge line? Your lunge line that's destroyed that we need to buy another one now? Mm -hmm. So if you have this in your barn, go like this. Watch out! That's really cool. All right, barn is clean. We did it. Chores are done. Arena is clean. Sam does not clean the arena, so if he does chores for a few days, it gets messy, and then I have to come, and I clean it, but I'm okay with that. When people go out of their way to help you or do something to make your life happier, you don't get to judge how they do it. You just get to be accepting and kind. Oh, no, I judge. Are you <laughs> Gabby's like, I judge. I, 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 I don't complain. I don't complain because he's doing it for us, and it's kind. I'd say the best dog breed for loving, like if you want a sweet, loving dog, and like that's all you want, get a Dalmatian. Get a Dalmatian, sweetest dog on earth. Goodbye, Garden. I'll be back. I'll be back for you. You, you guys know I'm not a big driver. I'm not like somebody who likes to drive. I only go places I know where to go. I know how to get there. Well, today, Sylvia and I are going on an adventure, and I thought I knew where to go, but now it's at a different place, and I don't know how to get there. So I got my Google Maps on. I don't know how to work that thing. And we're gonna try. We're gonna. I'm gonna try. If I get lost, well, you guys will be the first to know. All right, I did it. I got us here. We had to like drive. All, I had to pay attention to the to the GPS for the first time in my life. But I did it. I'm gonna get some money out, and uh, yeah, we're buying something. What do you guys think it is? What do you think it is? Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, he's here. All right. So you're going to have to tell us what, what we're seeing here. Hi, babies. So the, so the white ones will be big, right? Yep, they'll all be, these are all uh, coaching, coaching cross. Okay, so how do you get a, so do you know, like I want the white coaching, and then I want like a, another coaching, a pure co coaching if you can find me one. Yep. Uh, so, if you do, so how do you know if it's a cross or not? Uh, my crosses have little like safety tufts on their heads or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, I like you can them. See, uh, this one right here. Yeah. How it has that little tuff on the head? You no, know, I don't. I see nothing. Okay. <laughs> I see nothing. See how this one right here has a smooth head? Yeah. And then that one that just walked away kind of has a little bump on its head. All right. So the gray ones and the white ones—they're both coachins. Yeah. Like you can. Okay. So that's a Sophie. I Sophie. Want a gray one. You want a gray one? Yeah. We're gray people. <laughs> right. So we are gonna get some some white coachin. Here. I'll stand here. You don't go out, buddies. So they're both girls for yep. sure. Oh, we love you. Can you tell by the, the comb uh, development at this Yeah, point? yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell the males? Yeah, yeah males. they're big. A big comb. So these are going to be giants, right? Oh, uh, they should be big, yeah. The parents were probably standing. Yeah, I love that. All right. Love a good turkey. So that white one's a turkey? Yep. Yeah, this one should be the... The meat turkeys, the white ones. Oh, poor boy. So chickens, I love quails. Quails are fun. So like, they, so will, they will know where their food is and stuff. Like, if I let a couple out, they'd stay around here just because there's so many. Yeah. But if like I just let one out, you'd venture off somewhere. So they don't have the homing instinct. Not really, no. So the ones that I know, they, they've been around all summer and they're free range and they go everywhere and yeah. come back, yeah. Anyways, that's all right. We won't. We, we don't want quails. In the next four weeks, the Easter eggers. Wait, now one. So the Easter eggers, they all lay the blue or green eggs. Uh, these ones came from blue, green, pink, basically all the colors. All the colors. Mostly blue and green, though, because that's what I wanted to do. But yeah. 
Yeah, that's After cool. doing them this year, I probably won't do uh, the stragglers next year. What are you going to do next year? Uh, oh. Probably just my uh, Barama Bantams and stuff like that. Yeah, I like the Bantams. Look at you guys. Look at these guys, Sophie. Oh, there's ducks. Oh, those are the running ducks. Yeah, the baby running ducks. So when are they ready? Uh, those ones are actually going to a lady oh. this afternoon. Uh, really? Our runner ducks weren't doing so good this year. All your runner ducks are going to a lady? Uh, no, or all these ones in here, yeah. All these ones in here, but you have other ones? Yeah, we have, uh, still have our breeders and stuff at the house. So this is my dream chicken. I told you guys a long time ago I was going to get my dream chicken. So Sophie's, yeah, they're hers. So we got a white cochin and a gray cochin. I really like gray chickens. You really like white chickens? Gray. Gray? Yeah, me too. It's like, they're in style. Sophie's like, I want to name the Molly and Zoe. So if you guys just saw, we went to our chicken guy. So our chicken guy, you guys have seen in the long ago that he has like this beautiful chicken and duck farm, but he keeps his babies at his house. So that's what you just saw. We were at his house with all of his babies. And we got some coaching chickens. If you guys don't know, I'll show a picture here of what a coaching is. We got a white one and a gray one. And I almost wanted a rooster, but because I want to keep cochins. Like in the end, when we end up our, our forever farm, I want to have cochin chickens, just cochin chickens. They're giant, giant chickens. They're these big, white, fluffy. And I can train them to jump. And yeah, like, and they're the most friendly breed. People keep them in their house because they're such a friendly breed. All right, Sophie and I are going to do a little bit of shopping and stuff, and then we're going to take these babies home. And shopping news, they have pumpkin spice creamer. I got my favorite, which is Southern Butter Pecan. Oh my goodness. Hi, Shadow. Look at how friendly she is. Okay, so look at the cool box he gave us. We gotta keep this box. I know. Oh, he just made it like that. Oh. Okay, so these are these are cochin chickens. This is my favorite. This is a gray cochin. They look, yeah. Okay, I wanna hold, I wanna hold, um, so no, what are you gonna and then so we call this one snow white i'm gonna call her snow they're like 12 weeks old so when they're big she's dirty but when she's big when they're big they look the, like these big gorgeous amazing things and they're tall like almost as tall as molly and they're such friendly they're such a friendly breed I have to show this, one. this is what i want to have like you want to see them but they need a bath so we're gonna stick them in here until I get home because I have no time. Uh, just give them food and water. So this is just our little. I'm in my shadow, baby. I like him, her. Yeah. All right, so we have to uh, integrate them in with our other chickens and. Yeah, because um, we're not gonna. Yeah, so they're gonna stay here. They're gonna stay in there until I get back, and then we'll figure out the rest. I hate days like this where I'm in the car 24/7, but has to happen and I haven't cleaned the house yet and the house needs to get cleaned. All right, let's go Gabby. You ready? Okay, episode of what is in your bra edition. All right, so in this bra, I have four packs of gum on this side. And in this side, I have an extra battery for the phone, for the camera. All right, so today is nice weather. It's not bad. There's a bit of a breeze. It's coolish. Nice out, gorgeous out. I need to go today, ride Chino, make sure he's okay. I didn't get any footage yesterday to send to our trainer to see if he's good because tomorrow we plan to go schooling. We're supposed to be taking our horses schooling tomorrow. I'm really excited. Someplace new, someplace fun, someplace we haven't been this year at all. And it's only gonna work out if Chino's okay. And if we go at the crack of dawn, which is what our plan is to go at the crack of dawn, we're going with friends. We're going. It's going to be a fun time. It's just going to be all girls, I think. No, Sam. No, no Sam. Like, we have it all planned out, you guys. Fun day. Ugh. Something's wrong with my car. You guys tell me what we have to do. This door always locks and never unlocks. Never unlocks. Okay. Somebody broke the door. Somebody broke the door. Who broke the door? It was Gabby. No, it was me. All right, Gabby's got her coffee. She switched from ice caps to ice coffee. Depends and on the day. Depends on the day. So, uh oh, where are my keys? Oh no. All right, let's go see Chino. The door isn't locked, and we can climb in the. Uh, let's go see Chino can Bambino. Can ride him or just like yeah, testing? Can ride him. Come on. I brought treats. Come on, Chino. We only want one of you, and only for ten minutes. 
Definitely no. Come on! Daddy. <laughs> Look at Finn's hair. He always looks like, like that. You see him pushing his body away from Gabby? Like, I'm not going. Honestly though, who does he remind you of? With his hair hanging over the side of his head. Come in. So Gabby took uh, Gino back and I saw Storm going back to the gate. So I'm gonna go this way and and visit with him for a minute. She's gonna ride him. She rides Storm two times a week and we ride the other horses three times a week. Yeah, you want some fly spray? Yeah, how are you doing? You good boy? Yes, good boy, yeah. How come you're not taking care of your brothers? They're always alone without you now, eh? All right, we're gonna be back in the morning, okay? You see you then, we'll be back in the morning. Yes, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love that horse. You have no idea how much I love that horse. Did you guys know that it's possible to love for many different reasons and that love is accepting and love is kind and love is understanding and when you have a bad day, love still loves and when you make mistakes, love still loves. Right, Chino? We still love? Yeah. I found five cents. A lucky five cents. I don't know whose it is though, so I'm gonna put it right there. I have an experiment for you guys to try. So this is true. This is something that's, that works. I hear so many people saying like, so-and-so was mean to me, and so-and-so was mean to me, and, and I always tell people the best way to make people be kind to you is to be kind first. And sometimes it's really hard, trust me, I get that, I understand that, but I want you to go out there today, for the rest of today, and I want you to consciously try and be kind. And when you meet somebody who's rude or annoying or in a hurry or any of the things that drive you crazy, just be kind. Just like go out of your way for as rude as they are, be that much more kind. And I can tell you right now, it will turn your day around. It'll make the mean people, the mad people not mad anymore. And if they are still mad, then that's their problem. But when you be kind, and it turns people around and they're kind back to you, then before long it's their, this snowball effect and suddenly everybody is kind to everyone and then suddenly you just feel happiness all the time. It works, trust me, it works. And I know it's hard, because I struggle. But I try, I still try. So I challenge you to try. Go up there and try today, be kind. All right, here we go. Bring home your saddle. Bring home your saddle, we'll clean it. Oh yeah, and you're riding it. Oh, so I should get Sophie's stuff. Don't let me leave without Sophie's stuff. That would be bad. So Gabby's gonna ride tonight at the other barn and have a lesson on another horse. She's hoping to ride Lily. But you know, you can't tell the trainer who you're gonna ride. They got to pick for you. I could probably make that. Am I gonna? No. This could be it. This could be it. Knock on wood. What? You falling off of it? Yeah. Woo! Do not think he liked that. <laughs> I underestimated the jump. <laughs> oh, she underestimated. Sorry, I Chino. For dear life, though. Yeah. So, tell, comment below. Do you have oh. to fix your belt every time you get on and off it's the horse? Like my pants go higher on my waist, so I have to tighten it. When she rides, and then when she gets down. And then I have to loosen it. Yeah, story of her life. All right, Chino Bambino, let's see. Let's see what you can do. So today I'm just filming uh, a ride for Fiona so that she can I take a look. I don't know whether to be offended or like You don't know happy? what? For what? Big butt, no hips. Big like, butt? Is that good? Is it bad? Okay. Is it good? Is it bad to have big butt, no hips? That's what Gabby says. She's got big butt, no hips. Okay, so we moved inside because the outside needs to be dragged. It's kind of hard. So anyway, Fiona is busy and I sent her the videos and she sent me back one word. Do you guys know what it is? I sent her like extensive video of him going. She said one word, one word. What was the one word, Gabby? Sound, our boy is sound. So you want to do like, uh, you want to go back out? You want to ride him? Like, so build up, a, like do a walk, trot, canter? He needs, all right, you wanna go back out? 
Okay. I swear the horses don't poop in the field all day. And then when we let them in here, that's all they do is go to the back and poop. Go poop. What is on your eye? Oh my goodness. Don't be such a grouch. At the farm. And Gabby's riding today too. And Sophie. And Sophie's going for the long walk because the horses are all way out there on grass. And I'm just going to stand here like a good mom. <laughs> just going to guard the gate. I'm the gatekeeper. But I have to admit, it's gorgeous out here. It's just beautiful. It's windy and, and hot, but not too hot. Like when the breeze comes, it's gorgeous. Tomorrow's going to be scorching and it's supposed to thunderstorm and rain. So I told you guys we're going schooling. We're going schooling first thing in the morning. It's going to be craziness. Right, she caught herself a black pony. Is he black? She caught herself a black pony and she's excited. So he's bay then. He's like storm. Yeah, for a gatekeeper, I'm not very good, am I? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I thought he was black, but there's some brown on him in the summer. He's like faded out. Sophie's friend Elizabeth rides here and she's already in the barn. I've never seen Sophie move so fast in my life. We have Sparky. Sparky. Sparky looks good in purple. Sparky, do you know what Sadly rides in? No. And we have Lily. Lily, oh, she knows her name. She's like, oh, hello, I have a carrot. No, I have an apple. I have an apple just for you. Number nine is gone. There's a problem. These are all the saddles and they're numbered and each horse has a specific number. And then all the girths are numbered. And he wears a number 48. So it's there, the fatter you are, goes all the way up to here. He's the second fattest number. Oh, she's wearing, broke out the black saddle pad. Do you have everything ready for tomorrow? What color you're wearing? No. It's gonna be hot, you need a t-shirt. All right, get bridled up, let's go. All right, we got one. We got two. And horse in number three. My personal favorite. It has been a, such a long day, guys. It is, eight o'clock at night now and we started this day so early doing chores if any of you guys were wondering sophie showed on the weekend i wasn't able to update it uh the video oh it says on here oh they wrote on the back she showed 18 inches and she showed three rounds of jumping and for the e and she didn't place in the first two rounds and on the third round she got second place so proud of that proud of a nice new blue ribbon for her it's all about getting Finn used to the show showing, getting him comfortable going places. And it was a big difference for him. He was half as much better as he was the last time. So it's an improvement. Anyway, we're headed home. We are taking Elizabeth with us and she's gonna be our groom tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be another long day, a busy day, cause we're gonna have a lot of kids. It's gonna be kid day. Uh, so I guess we're gonna see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Don't you know that